Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to be doing a quick review on a little gameplay of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, I actually got this game at the S Steam Summer Sale uh, about a week ago. You know, I think it's fun, so that's why I'm going to do a review on it. Kind of show you guys what it is since it does run pretty cheap. Kind of a fun game to get when you're you're bored and you got nothing else to do. Um, I am a little further in the gameplay. Um, I've gotten my own truck. What you actually do is you start out working for a company and driving their trucks. But I went in and bought my truck. I bought this Volvo. And it has cool kind of LED lights, and that's why I bought it, and it's fast. So we're going to get started. Um, I do want to say I think this game looks pretty, pretty good. Um, you know, it could be better in some aspects, but I think for what it is, it's great, especially for the price you can pay. But yeah, let's get started. I'll do a uh, run, hopefully, from here to somewhere else um, up in this area maybe the furthest maybe down to Manchester but um, this yellow kind of shows you where I've been so far my hometown is actually I believe in Hanover Germany but I've worked my way up kind of travel around so let's grab this a load from here and we'll get started Once you get your own truck, you kind of got to go to your own places and find um, what they got for you. Oh, looks like we're all, all these are going to Amsterdam or Rotterdam, so somewhere in the Netherlands. So I think we're going to take the electronics just so we get more, because it's fragile. And then when you first start the game, they're nice enough to actually uh, already have the truck attached since you're working for a company. But I know a lot of people have problems with backing up into a trailer and backing the trailer into a spot, which we'll show you once we get to our destination. But yeah, like I said, I think it looks really good. Uh, interior is actually really detailed if anybody cares about that part. Um, you know, they look pretty good. I would assume pretty close to accurate too. But we are on our way. Got to use our blinkers. Got to be good truck drivers. So yeah, if you are from the United States, I am driving on the wrong side of the road for you. If you're from England, we are on the right side. Or I should say the correct side so we don't get confused. Uh, this is probably the hardest part I had with this game is trying to get adjusted to which side of the road to be on. Um, problem is you'll go from Germany and cross over into England and then you gotta switch sides. But that's why I chose Germany in the first place so I could drive on the right side of the road. Uh, this little map over here, you can actually change the zoom. Uh, it shows you kind of info about your current uh, cargo there. And then damage, don't worry about that damage. There were some interesting glitches I ran into. And if you get any messages, they'll pop up there. But yeah, that's, I mean, it's its a simple game. I think it's fun. It's more relaxing than something like an action game or comping on CSGO or that. And it's pretty expansive. It takes you quite a while to go from somewhere like Germany all the way up here to England. And there's a lot of variety. And once you... Once you hope that guy stops. Once you start leveling up, you actually get XP for each um, cargo haul you do. You can purchase things like the ability to carry explosives and chemicals, and um, and you get more money per load. So there is some uh, replay value in it. And like you saw on that map, I haven't even touched maybe half the map yet. And I've played for, I don't know, at least 10 hours, I would say. So there's plenty to do. And one thing if you play, be wary of turns like this. When you're going like 95 kilometers an hour, and you make that turn, you can, like, I don't know if it glitches the physics or it's supposed to, but you just start kind of rocketing off to the moon. And another thing you gotta be careful of is speed cameras. In some areas of the mark where it actually say speed camera ahead, but some of them they're just in the middle of nowhere. 
like right outside the cities when you're still speeding and and they uh, ticket you then for that. And then if you can see on the little map right above it, there's a little gas indicator and then a bed with just a little bit of blue. That kind of shows how tired you are. I'm actually going to stop and get some gas. Show you guys what that's like. If you've played 18 wheels of steel, it's the same thing. Um, it'll have us pull up and just hold enter to fill up. I'll show you the truck on the trailer while we wait. This trailer is actually fairly basic. Some of them do get um, quite detailed, especially when you're doing like excavators or backhoes or something like that. Yeah, the thing sound actually is pretty good on this. Um, it's not super exciting, but it's not bad, so. You know, I think what I really like is just a simple game. And we're going to run over the sidewalk. Um, you know, trucks handle pretty well, like a truck you would expect. Um, it just takes a lot longer to turn and brake and all that. So they did a good job there. Ignore that wrong turn signal. So yeah, I mean it's a great game. Put on some music and just uh, you know deliver loads for a few hours and waste some time. So you can see down there it says ETA is 20 hours. Of course that's in-game hours. And the reason it's so long is because um, of the ferry that we're going to be taking. Normally the loads I do, I usually do shorter loads. Um, maybe take about half hour of real time. Which is, you know, like eight hours ETA or something like that. But I know you can do a lot longer loads, like um, across you know, from Germany up to the north part. Over where I am now. You know, it can take quite a while if you go uh, further north from, you know, Far East Germany. Try to... Some countries also have two lanes that go all the way through, and then some have one, like, um, here. So I'll try to show you up ahead. Which, actually, it doesn't look like it's a full interchange, but... you will just driving along like we were about 30 seconds ago, and the lane will just turn off, and you won't realize it. This one looks like it stays. Probably should go the speed limit. It's about 50, and that guy's going fast. Yeah, there's a lot of <coughs> a lot of options you can kind of change, which makes the game a little more exciting. Um, like change the style of your transmission and and other details like that. And there's lots, a lot of customization with the trucks. Um, this one's more of a base truck with just upgraded engine, but I think this one has like four engine choices and a whole bunch of like push bar choices and lights and you can like set lights. I'll show you actually right now if I can get a second to pull over. You can see the air horns I put on top with two lights and then the two lights down below. Um, those you can kind of put, I think you can put five on the bottom and choose kind of predetermined spots like where you want them. And you can change the paint and the cabin style and all that stuff. So if you really invest time into it, you can have a pretty cool truck. And there's a whole bunch of manufacturers um, you can use too. Yeah, like I said, if you've played 18 Wheels of Steel, any of those, you're kind of, you know what this game is going to be like. I think this is actually much better. Um, it's a lot smoother. And there's a lot more options and a ton of uh, trailers you can use. Looks like a little bit further and we'll be at the ferry and then we won't have too much further from there. 
you can see it kind of shows you an expected time. Um, that's going to be like the time the, that it, the game expects you to arrive at the actual destination. Um, I haven't really seen a huge penalty with being late. Um, I think you just lose experience if I'm correct. You might lose um, maybe a little bit of money, but it wasn't anything drastic when I've been late. And then below it, it shows you how much time you actually have. So got 42 hours, and it's expecting us to be there in 19, so we should be more than fine. And then, for it seems like tonnage, like where it says eight tons there, um, definitely affects your truck handling and speed. So I also try to stay with the lighter load so I can get through it faster. But I've seen, I think the most I've seen is up to 20 tons. But um, yeah, you can carry things like electronics I've carried, um, car parts I've seen, and then a bunch of construction equipment I've carried, lumber. Um, that's about, I try to stick with those. I've carried some chemicals, I don't remember what it was. And some sort of uh, like gas containers, but there's a huge variety of things. I know it's way more extensive than that, but uh, I try to stick with those because they tend to be lighter and bring in a lot of money. And as of right now, I think I have uh, I can carry explosives, um, some type of chemicals, maybe corrosives. I think that's an option and then I um, got pretty far with um, increasing the value of the loads and those are on the uh, experience screen that you get once you turn in um, a trailer you get XP towards it and we're gonna maybe pass these just slow people hopefully we don't have a semi coming we'll just do this one at a time One thing you gotta, other than what I already said, one thing you have to be careful of too is these people love to slam on their brakes right when you get behind them. Because they think they need to go 10 miles an hour for a turn. Let's see, can we... Tricky, but we'll try it. Eh, looks like we can probably do all three of them. We'll do two. Play this last one safer. Wait till after this turn. The one thing I oh see now they speed up just to and then break what they love to do. See so one thing I wish they would do a little bit more detail work in is like the border crossings. I thought they were pretty plain. You know, they did a lot of great detail in other areas but kind of border crossings not um, as well detailed and intris intrinsic as I would hope for. But not to say they're bad and ruin the game or anything. Just I hope in Euro Truck Simulator 3, if they ever plan on doing one, they kind of work on the cities and and border crossings and other buildings like that. Let's see, maybe he has something. Looks like he has oil or something. So yeah, there's another kind of trailer you can have. And if anybody's wondering, I'm playing this on uh, ultra settings. So. Another thing I think they're missing, there no like obstacles in the road or anything like that. No like um, major road closures. I think that kind of add a, a fun part of it, kind of random events. Uh, 
Oh, I hope we can pass. Okay, good. Yeah, if they worked on, like, the buildings, you know, making the gas stations look a little different every time, that'd be pretty cool. Because they are, they get pretty standard, kind of get bored of them. He's um, carrying cars. I don't know if you guys can hear that rumbling, though, but you can turn that off. That's just a rumble strip. Um... If you don't know what it is, kind of lets you know when you're going off the road. Let me see if I can get it to go. Nope. There we go. Maybe. We'll find it. A little bit further over. There we go. So when you're playing this game and you fall asleep, because it's so soothing, <laughs> hopefully that'll wake you up before you crash into a, a guardrail. Now we should almost be there. I believe this kind of brings us into the area. Um, the, I guess the town, yeah. yeah. I've learned my lesson on these turns. Just go as slow as possible. It's one of the spots where you just rock it up into the air and you have no idea why. Clear there, got that guy. And if you think rush hour is infuriating, you're gonna be mad at this game sometimes. Because, like now, there's just car after car after car. Luckily, they're all turning though, but I've sat at intersections for a good five, six minutes just waiting to pull out. And I highly advise don't ever turn around in the middle of a road because they just love to get right on your trailer and make it impossible to move without hitting anybody. Like I've had people just blatantly stop and then just run into me on what seemed like on purpose when I've been stopped. It's like they thought, hmm, I wonder if I hit him what'll happen and then they just floor it into you. I'll uh, see, and here's what I'm talking about. You run into the traffic, and it takes forever. And I've had many an incident at roundabouts with people just not roundabouting right. I'm tempted to go around, but kind of show you. I guess the camera angles you got. You got this kind of free form around the truck. Uh, the overview one. Uh, let's see. Top of the truck, side of the truck, down low, to the side. And a, uh, like, theater like one, movie like camera. I like keeping in this. With the great sights of the fantastic looking cabin. Yep. Just wait in traffic. Um, this must be birds. Interesting. Oh, still rolling. And yeah, I'm playing with it, the transmission being automatic. I just I can't handle driving and turning and shifting and all that stuff. Let's see, I'm just gonna oh well that was a great way to start. Um, to start moving into that roundabout. Let's push the guy into it. Sometimes he's just gonna be more aggressive. Not that like this guy is an idiot. See, and there's where it says speed camera, but it's not always marked. God, that's infuriating. 
guy hit the trailer, but whatever. We'll start going a little faster now. Should be out of the range, hopefully. Not really gonna give way. And that guy. And how much do you want to bet that guy pulls out? Surprisingly, not. You know what? I'm all for the roundabouts, but in this game, I dread them. So we're pulling into the port now. And we'll hop on the ferry and pay some money to do that, of course. And then we'll magically appear in the Netherlands and make our short rest of the drive. Let's see, it looks like we're going there. And 1200 euros. Alright. And. We shall continue. Shouldn't have too much further now. Yeah, just gotta pull into Amsterdam, Amsterdam there. You know, I saw the stop sign. I know. Looks like we're on this side of the road now. Should have known that. But. I own the road, so I can do whatever I want. Here's another cool detail. See if I can get it. See, I have my brights on. and Yeah, I don't know if you can barely see them flash you back. Because you have your brights on. You know, little details that count sometimes. Show you guys the horn too. There's the good horn. The air horn I added. Try to go right after this guy. Yeah, the game's not glitching. I don't know if you probably noticed the steering wheel kind of jerks like that, but maybe I'm doing it wrong. That's how I drive in video games on the PC. Quickly tap the button. I just, I can't make it smooth. So don't worry, I'm not bad at video games. That's just the best way I've found. And we're gonna have to pass all these people. Like this guy, I don't know what he's doing. There's no reason to go that slow. And I was just. Oh, I see. Well. Cities don't look bad from the outside, but I think they're a little lacking once you actually get into the area you can drive in. Um, there is weather, forgot to mention that. Um, all I've seen is rain, I don't know if there's anything other than that. I know on a few of the 18 Wheels of Steel I've played, they did snow and ice, which was pretty fun. But, yeah, the rain actually looks really good, so they didn't include that, at least. And see, there's a stupid speeding camera. It wasn't going that fast, anyway. 
It's only like 30, 40, 50 over. And we're going to be here for oh, only a few seconds. Okay. And you can't run red lights or you get a red light offense. But I'll, I've also been like pulled up too far, like an inch too far, and I've gotten a ticket, which I think was stupid. But guess it can't be perfect, and now I can't even see the light. Okay, there it is. And then let's see if you look by the speedometer. Oh, almost missed that light down there on the right side. You can actually change the info that gets shown to, which is kind of cool. I'm um, not sure if it actually means anything like that stuff or the temperatures. That might be like if you get damage. Oh, I should probably go. But um, the gas screen shows you there how many. Looks like liters you got and how far till empty, so. Another one of the small details. And I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see exactly where we need to turn. And the hardest part of the game is backing this trailer up. Which I don't think is bad, but some people cannot do it for the life of them. I certainly don't get in one go, but especially it's that far away. Um, so let's see. Oh, that was bad. Okay, we're gonna reset that. Promise I am better. This has probably been one of the worst runs I've ever done. Normally I don't hit anything, I stay in the lane the entire time. Only get one speeding ticket every time. a very delicate thing. Take your time. And that's how you do it. <laughs> so it gives us our money and then our experience. And that's about it. But yeah, it's a fun game. Um, if you're looking to get it and it's like $4, go ahead. Now, even if it gives you 5 hours of entertainment, that's not bad. Um, there's a lot of replay. And overall, I think it's a great game. Like I said, good detail everywhere except for you know, the buildings, which could be better. But, you know, it's fun. Waste some time. So, see ya.